Hiram Bingham was an American explorer, academic, and historian of South American studies. He first became interested in Inca ruins on a trip to Chile, where he was a delegate to the first Pan-American Scientific Congress. On his return via Peru, he was encouraged by a local to visit the pre-Columbian ruins of Coquiquirao. On his return to his lectureship position at Yale, Bingham convinced the university to set up a joint expedition with Peruvian authorities to explore Inca sites in the Cusco region. The journey began in 1911, with Bingham as the lead explorer. After arriving in Cusco City, Bingham met with Albert Giesick, the rector of the local university. Giesick mentioned that he had met a local farmer called Melcher Artiga, who spoke of extensive ruins on a high bridge near his home in the Arubamba Valley. On July 19, 1911, Bingham's expedition headed out of Cusco into the Sacred Valley, via the towns of Arubamba and Olamtetambo, searching for the Inca ruins of Vitcos. According to Chronicles, the lost city of the Incas was near Vilcabamba, a two-day hike from Vitcos. On the 23rd, they reached the farm of Melcher Artiga, and on the following day, the farmer led Bingham to Macu Picu. Despite being impressed by the site, Bingham was not convinced that it was the last hidden refuge of the Incas as it did not match the description of Vitcos or Vilcabamba. The team decided to leave the site and continued northeast into the Vilcabamba River Valley, where they came by a large unfinished carved rock at Rosapada. They immediately recognized this site as the Inca shrine Nusta Hispana. A little further on, perched atop a hill, they discovered Vitcos. Feeling they were hot on the trails Vilcabamba, the expedition continued northeast up and over the Colpacasa Pass to the village of Pampaconas. Here they met a local farmer who led them to the ruins at Espiritu Pampa's place. After exploring the site for a few days, Bingham concluded that it was not the final resting place of the Incas as the architecture was too crude. Instead, he concluded that Macu Picu must be the lost city. With the support of Yale University and the National Geographic Society, he returned in 1912, 1914, and 1915 to excavate and explore the site. As a result, an estimated 40,000 artifacts, mummies, bones, and ceramics, were removed from the area. In 2007, after much debate, many artifacts were returned by Yale to the Peruvian government.